The role of a safety case is to present a compelling argument based upon the available evidence that a system is acceptably safe to operate in a given context. From its roots in the nuclear industry, the use of safety cases has become a widespread approach to the regulation of safety-critical systems in many industry sectors, from automotive to medical devices and air traffic management. Historically, safety case development relied almost exclusively on narrative text to communicate the safety argument within the safety case. This approach suffered from problems of lack of clarity, difficulty in comprehension and poor structure with insufficient explanation. A number of serious accidents, such as the Piper Alpha disaster and the Clapham Rail disaster, which both took place in 1988, were instrumental in prompting a reconsideration of how safety is managed in the safety-critical sector. To improve industrial practice in developing and presenting safety case arguments, the High Integrity Systems Engineering Group at York developed the Goal Structuring Notation, GSN. GSN was developed to tackle the challenges in safety case development. It's a graphical argument notation which can be used to document explicitly the elements and structure of an argument and the argument's relationship to evidence. The history and evolution of GSN started in the early 1990s when York first established and illustrated the concepts of goal structuring. Since that time, the work has continued to develop. In 1997, GSM was extended to support the description of safety case patterns, generic argument structures that can be reused in many safety cases. Then, in 2001, GSM was extended to support the management of modular safety cases. This work was used as a technical basis of the UK Industrial Avionic Working Group's work on modular certification. In 2011, a GSM standard was established by a joint academic industry group that involved 15 companies from a wide variety of industrial sectors. GSN is now a major international influence in the definition of safety arguments within safety cases. York's work on GSN has provided industry with a new approach and method to presenting safety arguments. There has been wide adoption and use of GSN in industrial safety cases in many domains, including air traffic management, offshore oil and gas, space systems, medical systems, military aerospace, defence and the railway and automotive industries. The key benefit experienced by companies adopting GSN is that it improves the comprehension of the safety argument amongst all of the key project stakeholders, such as system developers, safety engineers, independent assessors and certification authorities. GSN has been used in the safety cases for a wide range of systems, including the US-UK Joint Strike Fighter, European Air Traffic Management Systems, Heathrow Terminal 5's Rapid Transit System and the London Underground. Through academic publications and the education of thousands of safety engineers through York's MSc in Safety Critical Systems Engineering and associated continuing professional development courses, GSN has become an established international approach to safety case development. It has changed the culture of safety case development in that the use of graphical argument structures is now a common approach. GSN is referenced by a number of national and international safety standards as a recommended approach to safety case development, including European air traffic management, UK defence, US medical devices and UK railways, and it's been used in a large number of industrial safety cases across many industries. We're developing a new area called model-based assurance cases that shows how we can use some of the Epsilon modelling work of our enterprise group to enable the construction and transformation of GSN argument structures from the weaving together of other systems and software engineering models, such as architecture models and failure analyses. This work can help in providing rapid feedback on the safety assurance of evolving system designs. We're also looking at whether modular GSN can be extended from being a purely design time technique to something that enables components and systems to reason about their assurance cases at runtime. When systems are composed together, they will have to negotiate and check that their assurance cases are compatible. This work can help in assuring highly dynamic and configurable systems, for example, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle interactions in automotive applications. <laughs>